OK. So um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, when we are multiplying numbers in scientific notation, the main important thing that we want to make sure is we multiply our numbers that we have. And then we multiply our, base, our exponents with base 10. All right? So basically, what I have here is 27 times 2 times 10 to the negative fourth times 10 to the negative second. Does everybody kind of follow me with this? Wait, multiply no. your first, you multiply these, and then you multiply your powers of 10. OK? 27 times 2 is 54 times 10. Now, how do you multiply 10 raised to a power? Those are exponents. Since the exponents have the same base, you add the powers. Since they have the same base, you add the powers. So that's 10 to the negative sixth. <clears throat> now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and look at this answer, though. This is 54 times 10 to the negative sixth power, correct? OK. If I was going to write this out, the decimal point is right here. And I'd go 6 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? Moving it that way. However, ladies and gentlemen, do you remember what, is my, what does my term have to be between? 54 cannot be right in scientific notation. Does anybody remember the two numbers it has to be between? 1 and 10. So therefore, I really need the decimal point to be moved over here. So if I move it over 1 to the left, then how far do I need to move to the left to get my decimal point to go over there? 4. Well, if this is 6, then move it over 1, it'd just be 5. So therefore, I'm going to rewrite my answer as 5.4 times 10 to the negative fifth. Does that make sense? Kind of? Más o menos?